Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a bootable Windows USB drive from Windows 10. And uh, yeah, that's really it. That's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do. And uh, essentially, this is if you ever need to like install or reinstall Windows, or maybe you just don't have Windows a Windows copy on your uh, like on a disk, or maybe your PC doesn't have a disk drive. So the only way you can do it is if you have a USB drive and a serial key or something like that. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this, and then you can also just save it for other computers and stuff if you don't want to re-download the 4 or 3 gigabyte file. So before I get started, I just wanted to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on my way to 13,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So in the description, you're going to find a link to a Microsoft website that looks exactly like the one I'm on right now. And essentially right from here, you're going to be downloading the Windows Media Installation or Media Creation Tool. And uh, you don't really have to like uh, maximize these things. It's just a bit more information, but I'm basically going to cover that all for you guys. So you don't really need to worry about any of this. All right, so essentially once you're on this website, all you have to do is just click on Download Tool Now. And then you can just save it to your desktop. My desktop is kind of messy, so uh, I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, it is pretty messy. So once it does actually download, all you have to do is just double click on the file. And you're probably going to get like a pop-up that comes up like this one saying, do you want this app to make changes to your PC? Go ahead and click on yes. Even if this USB installation is for like a different computer or something, go ahead and click on yes, even if that shows up. And it's just going to say getting a few things ready. Then it's going to say the license terms. You can go ahead and accept these. I'm going to say getting a few things ready one more time. So I'll get back to you guys when that is done. All right guys so that literally took like two seconds but once that happens you'll get two options you can either upgrade the pc you're currently on right now if that's not already on windows 10 or you can create installation media for another pc so since we're making a bootable windows usb drive for basically any computer we're going to be doing uh installation media for another pc once you click on that just go ahead and click on next and then right now it's probably just going to be a bunch of faded out things because it's going to be checked on use the recommended options for this pc so um in my case i'm actually making usb installation media right now for a different computer so i'm going to uncheck this and this is where you actually get to like mess around with some of the settings so for the language I'm gonna be picking English for my edition there there are three editions that actually show up on this so as you can see right now there's a picture on the screen that shows you like which edition you should actually pick uh, depending on what Windows 7 or Windows 8 you already have on that computer so the computer that I'm using has a Windows 7 home professional or something like that but I know it's home something so I'm gonna be doing Windows 10 home single language and I'm not really too sure what the single language thing is I guess you can only just pick like one language and I know the computer is 32 bit but you can also make it for both. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is just click the next button one more time. It's gonna say, make sure the edition you've selected for the installation media matches the edition on the Windows PC. So if you're actually unsure what your edition is on the computer that you're actually gonna be messing with, all you have to do is, is just open up the file explorer on that PC, right click on where it says computer or my PC or my computer, go down to properties. And once that shows up, you're gonna see Windows 10 Pro, Windows 7 Pro, Windows 8 Pro, Windows 7 Home Basic and stuff like that. So you can just base it off of that in the screenshot that I showed you guys earlier in the video. So once you're sure that the installation media does match the PC that you wanna update, you can go ahead and click on OK. And then right here, you actually get to pick if you wanna make an ISO file or a USB flash drive. If you wanna do a USB flash drive, it does have to be at least three gigabytes, whereas I ISO file just has to be, I'm guessing it's gonna to have to be like a three gigabyte like disc or something, but you can actually put ISO files on USB drives using like a program called Rufus. I can make a video about that someday in the future, but I'm just going to be doing a USB flash drive. So now I'm going to click next, and it does say that we cannot find a USB flash drive because I do not have one plugged in right now, so I'm going to quickly plug one in and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I actually just plugged in the USB flash drive, I think it was like 8GB, so as long as it's 3GB or more, you should be fine. So now I'm just going to quickly click on refresh drive li list, and as you can see, here's my USB flash drive, so I'm just going to make sure it's highlighted, and then just click on the next button. And now it's going to actually start downloading Windows 10, so this can take anywhere from like a couple minutes to a couple hours, maybe even a day if your internet is actually that bad, but uh, I'm guessing it's not. Mine should only take about like 10-15 minutes, I'm guessing, so I'll get back to you guys when it is done. Alright guys, so um, mine actually just finished downloading, and I guess not. Now it's just going to verify your download. I'm not too sure what this actually means, even though I've done this before. So uh, I guess just wait until it finishes with the progress. Okay, well, it's already at 90. Okay, okay. And now it's actually going to be creating the Windows 10 Media. So I guess right now it's actually going to be putting it on your USB drive or something like that. So I'll get back to you guys when this is done as well. Alright guys, so um, honestly that took a really long time, I, d I just started listening to music. But um, once your flash drive is actually done, it's just going to say your USB flash drive is ready. And from here you can honestly just go ahead and click on finish. 
and now she's gonna say setup is closing and all that good stuff. So here's some gameplay while I finish off the video. Essentially, now you're actually able to either uh, connect your USB and just plug it in while the computer's on, and then just quickly open it up like I am about to right here, and uh, just go to your USB drive, and all you have to do is just click on setup.exe, uh, or the executable for setup, and it's basically just gonna be the setup for Windows 10. Now, say you actually wanna boot into the USB flash drive, all you have to do for that is actually just going into the BIOS of your computer and then just changing what the boot, boot uh, order is in. So it's probably just going to be like CD drive, hard drive, and some other stuff. So just change it to USB flash drive, then hard drive, and some other stuff like that. Just make sure that your USB is the priority when you're booting up and then you can boot into Windows 10 and just do a clean install or an upgrade or whatever you're actually trying to do. So that's really it for the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not ready because I'm on 13,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. Learn that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.